greens in here, quite a few, quite a few, um, what? It's a lot of greens in here, there's quite a few, a few, what am I trying to say? Oh my gosh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we're going to be playing with a new palette. Yes. A new palette, of course, I feel like I always test out new palettes, but that's just like my kind of jam, that's my thing. Testing out palettes, seeing if it's worth the money. Yes. So yeah, in today's video, we are going to be testing out the new I Heart Revolution Good Luck Charms palette. I'm excited. I'm actually excited. Now, I don't test a lot of I Heart Revolution on my channel. I, feel, I don't feel like I have a lot of their palettes. They come out with a lot of palettes when they do. They come out with, I have to set out some small little heart ones. Um, which you haven't, if you haven't seen, it was like last year that I posted them. But yeah, they came out with them last year. They've done some more this year, but I wasn't too forced about purchasing them. They come out with chocolate bar palettes. I used to be on the chocolate bar palette, like hype used to be all about it, but I kind of just got rid of all the chocolate bar palettes because I just wasn't overly fussed. Um, but they've started doing like this kind of packaging now and I'm kind of here for it. So yeah, I saw this palette. They also come out with another palette as well, which is the Fortunes and Crystals palette. I will be testing this out in a video as well. Obviously it won't be today. It's gonna be a separate video, but yeah. So yeah, well, today we have the Good Luck Charms palette. I'm excited. I'm excited. So let's jump straight on into it. Okay, so this palette retails for £12. I think that's pretty good, to be honest with you, pretty good. I am a huge fan of the packaging. I really like it. Um, so this is what the box looks like. It's really cute. It's got like this whole like mythical, no, myth mythical, mystical kind of vibe to it with like the mushrooms, the black cat, the wand. Like, I just think it's really nice. And then the actual palette itself has basically the same. It's almost like a little bulk, like the way you open it up. Um, but yeah, it looks like this, the outer packaging. Pretty much the same as the outer box. Really nice. I really like it. I'm very, I'm here for this packaging. And then you open her up. She's got a big mirror inside. And then you've got all these like greeny shades. There's a lot of greens in here. There's quite a few cool tones. There's some like brownie shades. There are some like wearable everyday shades in here, which is quite nice. On the back it says 18 soft matte and rich metallic shades to make you feel lucky. Um, there are also, I think some pressed pigments in here. Like it has, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there are some pressed pigments. There's about one, two, there's two in here. There's two pressed pigments. I like pressed pigments. I'm, I'm not really bothered about each to be honest with you. Pigments, shadows, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm actually really intrigued. Let me swatch a few of the shades. Um, actually, let me tell you how many shimmers are in here. So there's 12 shimmers and then there's six mattes. Um, hmm. I would have liked there to be a few more mattes in here. However, I'm not overly fussed. I'm quite happy that there's only like six mattes, you know? Yeah, still cool. There's still enough to make it work. Um, for instance, there's this black here, there's a grey, there's a deep green, there's a dark brown, there's a like a mid-tone brown, and then there's like a beige kind of shade. I wish there was just one more matte in here, which is like a lighter green maybe. Um, but yeah, let me swatch a few of the shades just to see what they look like, I suppose. Okay, so here's a few of the shades swatched. Um, they swatch okay. The black which is this shade here, wasn't overly impressed with. it. That's like two swatches built up. However, I have to see how it performs on the eye, you know, like it could, it could, it could perform fine, like it could be okay. Um, I suppose it's better to not, it's better to have a black that's not overly pigmented because then it's like maybe difficult to blend away, that kind of thing. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna stop talking, stop rambling. I'm gonna go ahead, prime my lids. And then we're gonna jump into testing out this palette because yeah, that's what we're all here for. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so what we gonna do? 
is I'm going to take this shade first, the shade Rewards. Um, yeah, I'm going to take this shade first. I did just primer laser, sorry, just using the Beauty Bay Eye Base. I thought I would use something different. Usually I use the Revolution one, but I thought today, you know, let's really just, really just, you know, broaden my horizons. I'm just going to take a really fluffy brush. Never usually do this kind of style of eye look, to be honest with you, but we're going to, we're going to go for it today. We're just going to go in with the with our transition shade first. If you know me, you know this is not something I usually do, but something we're doing today. We're doing we're doing something different. There's quite a bit of hiccup, but then again I am using like quite a fluffy brush so yeah I'm not overly fussed still really pigmented really just easy to to work with I haven't played with uh, revolution shadows in like the longest time I don't I don't really know why I just kind of just don't really gravitate towards their palettes like some of the palettes look amazing like these ones they look amazing but some of them are just like not my favorite in terms of like color story I would love to get some more of their newer like chocolate bar palettes but I kind of just you know I just kind of just don't because I just know that I don't think I'm going to use them I, so yeah I'm going to go into the shade Lucky which is this green shade here um, and I'm just going to start to take this and we'll just pop it here. Oh, it's quite pigmented. It's quite nice. I feel like it might have been more pigmented if I just went straight on with this if that kind of makes sense however that's not the vibe I was going for I wasn't going for that kind of vibe so yeah that's actually quite nice like I actually quite like this like yeah I feel like I might need to add a bit of like either black or dark brown just to kind of give it some more depth and um, I don't know how the black would work I mean, it might do you never know do you should we give it a little go maybe let me just finish this Um, do I, do I work, um, do I take the dark brown or the black? We're going to try the dark brown actually because I'm kind of scared of the black. So that is the shade Acorn. Um, and we're just going to take some on that, the outer. The very kind of like outer edge. Okay. My camera cut off again, again. I know. So, like I was saying, I just took, I just took a corner, put that like on the outer edge, pretty much just to like add some depth to the outer edge. And also to the green as well, because I felt like the green wasn't exactly like, you know. So now I want to go in with the shimmer shade. Um, I don't know if it's, do I take clover? This shade though. I really don't think I should take that shade. But I kind of want to, like, I don't think it's going to go with the look. 
like although it is super pretty like mm. I think we're gonna stick we're gonna stick to clover might take another shade as well but yeah we're gonna we're gonna stick with clover which is this green shade here I'm gonna use my finger we're just gonna use our finger I'm not too fussed just gonna literally apply it I'm not being super precise I'm literally just whapping it on it's quite nice wouldn't obviously say it's the most foiled shade because it's not however it is nice still a nice shade still cute for the inner part you know what we're gonna go in with the silver there's a silver in here I'm gonna use it yeah see so yeah, I'm gonna take the shade destiny this shade here the silver I'm using a brush for this yes yes look at that like here I am gonna take a smaller brush like this kind of size go into the same matte green shade and I'm literally just gonna like start to run it kind of like along the lash line almost um yeah I kind of want that kind of effect for this look I should maybe use a more dense kind of brush I think but we're just we're just gonna go in with this one I think I might take the brown as well I'm not too I'm not too sure maybe not I don't know really, I might not need to eyes I'm gonna go ahead just do my rest of my base whatnot and then we'll be back to talk about my final thoughts on the palette so yeah I'll be right back okay guys I am back this is the finished look what do you guys think kind of like it kind of like it so let's talk go ahead and talk about the palette of course use this bad boy of course um so yeah let's talk let's quickly talk about it um I didn't do my normal style of eyeshadow so I can't fully be like you know all you know like if I was to apply the green by itself would it have been as pigmented or like more pigmented um I can't really talk about that so but yeah, I'm gonna go off based off the eye look that I did today I think a lot of people would kind of do the eyeshadow style this kind of way with using the transition shade first that kind of thing especially if you're like a beginner or whatnot that kind of thing so yeah let's talk about the the shades yeah so obviously I did use the this beautiful um like brownie midtone brown kind of shade applied beautifully it is gorgeous it's blended out beautifully really like it the green when I then went into the green next the green was kind of difficult to work with but again, I don't know whether that's just because I was applying it in a different way than what I would usually apply my eyeshadow, that kind of thing. Um, but however, it did take a little bit of work in, but it did work and it's not patchy. It is gorgeous. It's a really nice shade. I really like it. So pretty. I then also did go into the shade Acorn. It's a really nice shade. It applied top, on top of the other shades. A great. Um, didn't have much fallout, to be honest with you, I don't think. No, I didn't. I didn't have much fallout for any, from any of the shades, really. This shade was a bit of kick up, but I think it's just because I used such a fluffy brush to like blend it out. So yeah. Um, the shimmer shades, I really like this shimmer shade here. It's really nice. Obviously on my lids, it actually looks gorgeous. Like it's just stunning. And the silver shade is beautiful as well on the inner corner. It is stunning, gorgeous. I feel like the silver is a bit more like foiled like. Um than the green but they're both still gorgeous still really pretty yeah I really like it I do really like the cool story of this the cool story definitely did grab me a lot more than like their other palettes so yeah I'm very impressed would I change anything about this palette the only thing I would do is I would add another light green shade just then I don't know if you want to do like a full green look obviously I've done a full green look but I would have been, it would have been nice to have like a lighter green shade in there if you wanted to go like fully green you didn't want to use like the browns that kind of thing um also I would have um, 
no i think that's i think that might be about it just one more like matte green shade i think that's the only thing that i would change um also maybe like a lighter in a corner kind of shade um would have been cool if it was like an icy like white to green kind of shade in there that would have been quite cool but other than that i really like this palette i like it i think it's cute yeah really impressed with it for 12 pound you can't go wrong you cannot go wrong 12 pound 18 shades it's really nice it's got a mirror it's a nice it's nice packaging the shades are really pretty yeah i really like it obviously i didn't use the black when i swatched the black it wasn't the best but then again i'm not i'm not expecting like an amazing black it might actually perform amazing on the eyes obviously i didn't use it today because i was a little bit of a scaredy cat but yeah so yeah i really hope you enjoyed today's video guys if you did please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it would really help me out if you want me to do another look using this palette maybe you want me to use like the black and the gray kind of shade here maybe you do maybe you do maybe you don't if you do want me to just let me know if you want me to just do another look with this palette let me know because i i can do that for you guys um, but yeah, as always, I'll be linking everything else I'm wearing in my description box down below. And as always, I'll be linking my social media handles up above and also in the description box down below in case you want to check me out there. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!